Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Setsuna. In this episode, I'm gonna explore Tenderville. Uh, yeah, we're looking for somebody. Okay, so this administrator guy doesn't know about the fact that the former lord of Flanoia is actually living here, or what? I guess he's oblivious to that fact. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite towns in the game. Uh, there's actually a developer room town later on in the game that's uh, based on this town. Like it's, it, it's exactly the same as this town, except uh, well, it's got like same music, except it's done more of like an 8-bit, 16-bit-ish style with like different music and stuff. It, I don't know. You'll see when I get there. It's pretty cool. Which is it, basically that's like an homage to all the old developer room. Uh, things that used to be in a lot of old RPGs. Hey, Alright, this old woman is going to give us a recipe. There you go. I don't know, man. I really like this game. Reduces water elemental resistance. Nice. That should be useful. Especially for that, that super boss later on in the game, huh? Oh, whatever that guy's name is. I, I forgot the name of the guy already. Uh, that would be Sima. Yeah, this guy right here. This is this is at least one super boss later on in the game that we got to fight, and he uses nasty water attacks. Like the water attacks uh, he was using against us earlier were nothing compared to the ones that he'll start hitting us with later when we fight him at the end of the game. It was like two two fucking wave attacks, and I was dead. <laughs> it's like holy shit. Uh, yeah, you can have that. So whoever said that all the enemies in this game were too easy, didn't bother trying to find the tough enemies in the game, like all the uh, rare encounters and all that stuff. Talk to everyone, explore everywhere. You may be surprised. You might find something that you weren't expecting. And shit, if you guys have any tips uh, when it's pertinent, like if I get to the end game and if I haven't done something, uh, that you know about, by all means, drop it in the comments section. I mean, there's no guides on the internet for this game, so I'm just kind of pioneering the, uh, the game, so to speak. Yeah, we got another sealed chest. It's going to be really nice to come back and get all those. Yeah, I really like this game. Maybe this game doesn't get that many views on YouTube, but whatever. I don't really care. I'm enjoying playing it. I'm enjoying LPing it. And I hope those of you that do watch it enjoy it as well. I mean, this, this isn't going to get as many views as, like, say, a Chrono Trigger LP. 
but you know, that's fine. No new weapons, same amount of ta yeah, we can buy mithril. Again, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, yeah, I suppose I might as well sell some stuff. If I can get any new Sprit Knight, I can. Hold on a minute. Okay. Apparently, I don't have that one yet. Yes, the dummy spell. That should be really good. Yeah, basically what this does, it generates a gravity orb that drags foes toward its center, causing magical damage to all enemies near the target. Very, very useful for grouping enemies together so you can whack them with, with uh, like a follow-up spell. So yeah, the dummy spell, freaking good. And then in Chrono, this will add time magic to uh, a character's attacks, and it will also boost time elemental uh, damage with spells. So if... You, if uh, if, uh, what's her face? If Quan uses it on herself, then she can do more damage with Demi, like after using that spell. Okay, so we got Condense. I might as well get it. Blunt Blow. Might as well get it. Wind Slash. Yeah, might as well get it. Boosting maximum MP, okay. Wise testimony. I don't have this one yet. Well, I'm getting it. Yeah, I need high grade honey. I'm not sure where you get that from. Accuracy, ultimate truth. Bunch of shield abilities, light shield. Maybe later. All right. Thought I had that equipped. I guess not. Hmm. 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 I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll just equip this for now, and then I'll switch out abilities as I see fit, I guess. Yeah, cause I don't need Protect. I'd rather have the Demi spell. Yeah, as you level up, you'll get more Sprit Knight slots, so don't worry about uh, having not enough slots. By the end of the game, basically, we'll have, like, I don't know, judging by what I can see right now, like, one, two, three, probably, like, seven or eight more slots. Yeah, I, I want Provoke. I want that. What do I want? Wind Slash, Blunt Blow, or Condense. Hmm. Probably wind slash. All right, so what do I have so far? I got one that raises physical attack power, defense, fire, and water elemental resistance. New items. No new items. Yeah, eventually uh, the, the um, apothecary will actually start selling like mid potions, uh, mid ethers, you know, just better overall items.
Tale of Fortune. Oh, wow, this has three. Holy shit. Uh, huh. Has MP consumed. Who do I want to have more slots, though? Based on my Sprint Knight. I guess that's sooner. This is the one she has. Magic brand. This one has ATB bonus and SP accumulated. It doesn't have as many slots though. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going with it. Yeah, that way for her I have access to all her spells, so fuck it, I'll just go with that. And Thunder, that might be good. Yeah. Alright. I think I've talked to everybody except for whoever's in here. Oh, that guy, the grumpy guy. He's not. <laughs> we just feel like it. No, I'm going to be straight up with this guy. even need to answer that. That question is beneath us. So we get the old man's letter. Okay. Thanks. I never looked at her yet. Again, this is one of those sub-characters at the end of the game you want to visit again. That way you can um, you can get a, a, a better sword and you can get one of um, one of Yomi's best skills in the game. Or I think it's one of his best skills. I don't know, I didn't really use it too much before I started over and started making this.
Alright, so we are good to go. Okay, there is a scene through Mislay Woods, so I'm just going to show walking back. And any encounters that I failed uh, to avoid. Yeah, that's Blowbeat. It's pretty amazing. Hell, it was even good endgame. That's how good it is. Is it good against the strongest enemies in the game? I think not. But I don't know, I've read some some pretty retarded reviews on Steam of this game. People that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, the game is too easy! Blah 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. You didn't dig deep enough, man. That's all I gotta say to those people. Look at all that stuff. Oh, really? You think so, huh? Yeah, Setsuna for those exact kills, that's what you want. Ah. Oh, there's that call shit again. Quit fucking doing that! I guess I'm. I, this is a good way to rack up uh, exact kills. I could just keep doing this over and over again. Yeah, <laughs> I could just keep doing this over and over again and keep getting exact kills. I'll wait till her ATB is all the way up. I don't want to do this forever here. There we go. Got a shadow kill, huh? How the hell did I get a shadow kill? Not that I'm complaining, but... How did that happen? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I mean, you should have stayed in Tenderville. Why are you still following us? Yeah, okay, whatever, kid. We take you for a kid. A bratty kid at that. Get out of our way. Uh, I suppose we should just wait and see if he becomes hostile.
Okay, yeah, and I guess we'll find out more about that ghost guy later. Right now it's a bit of a mystery. Tut Tut guy. Well, if you remember from earlier, the Tut Tut guy is actually hanging around in the, uh, the pub area. So let's talk to him. Yeah, you're lying to us. Yeah, yeah, we already know you don't like him. Give him the letter already. We have. Yeah, even though NPCs have already told us that. But I guess if you didn't talk to all the NPCs, then you wouldn't know that. And I guess they're, the characters' reactions are trying to compensate for that, I suppose. Gotta go get permission to enter. That kinda sucks. Oh, that's good. It's good to know he's not a bad guy. Definitely eccentric. you're definitely in the right world little girl because if you want snow that's all you're gonna get if you're one of those people that want tropical weather this is not the game to play I don't think he's in trouble Oh, hey. Nice. Is 
This is why you want to go around like two, three, four times to to different NPCs. That way, you know, if you do find any ingredients that you need, you can get hooked up in the new recipe. Okay. Alright, so this one is... Okay, this one will up critical hit rate. Ah, that's why no one in Tenderville knows who it is. Ladies are the same thing. Okay, that little boy. I know that little boy later on will have something for us. Let's hope so. Better not be a jerk. Yeah, pretty much, man. As in a line from Aemon Targaryen in Game of Thrones, I feel like a hundred year old man slowly freezing to death. Huh. People channeling energy into a stone, huh? little boys up here still useless yeah still useless what about you you still useless yep all right I think that's all we can do in the town before going to the uh, well to go into the uh, the Lord Manor up here so I'll just uh, leave it at that that's all for this episode of Setsuna. In the next episode, we'll talk to Lord Avalo. Hopefully, we'll get his permission to use the airship to go to the Last Lands. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.